Hello, beautiful people. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for pressing play. Today, we're going to do glam. So if you like this look, stay put. Let's do this together. Today, we're going to cover some glam drugstore style. Yes, ma'am. So we are going to dip into Maybelline's palette, the Sitting Mini palette. And this one, I believe, is called Concrete Runway. You have this beautiful blue shade that comes in the palette. You have the shimmer. You have a little bit of a dark color. So if you've seen the palette at your local drugstore and you've kind of hummed and hawed, give it a try. It's kind of fun to put some blue and be glamorous. So let's do this. 40 and glams. So you're going to first want to go in with the blue eye pencil. I'm using Honey Bee Gardens Color Blue Jean. This is going to help for you to outline where you want that color payoff to really be at. Now I saw this done by Linda Hallberg on her YouTube channel and it really did help that dark pigment to just adhere better and so you get that color payoff. This helps you also to outline where you want that color so you can make it a subtle eye or you can make it really dramatic depending on what you're wanting. I'm going just under that crease area, right in there. I'm also going to take my brush and blend that in better. I'm going to take Morphe's 167 to go in and help blend this out. Now I am leaving this little area here empty of color so that when I go in and put the highlight, I'm not going to have to worry about it being able to shine through. So I'm going to take the Sonia Kashuk smudge brush and I'm going to go into that blue color and just lightly pack it onto already that place blue pencil we have on the eye. Putting the eye pencil down first on the lid really helps so that when you're putting the eyeshadow on, there's hardly any, if not no, fallout. Now I'm going to take the Sonia Kashuk Blending Crease Brush and we're just going to go into that crease area and just buff out some of that line. I'm going to go back in more and place a little bit more of that blue color. Now taking a Morphe M5119, I'm going to go into that taupey color and go into the crease and above the crease and just buff that out. So going in with the small shadow brush from Sonia Kashuk, I'm going to go into that darker color and just place it on the outer edge there, the V area. I'm just using a tapping motion. Now taking a Morphe M507, I'm gonna go dip into that taupey color and work that along the under the lash line. Then I'm gonna go in and take the blue color and also work that under the lash line. I took the taupe all the way through. I'm taking the blue about three-fourths of the way. 
And I'm going in with the same brush and taking some of the dark color, the black color that's in that palette. I'll work the black color from the outer color to about midway. Now using a Sigma Smudge E21, I'm going to dip into my Maybelline Eye Studio Eye Gel and we're going to take a little bit of that and work that up into the top line. Now going back to the blue eye pencil, we're going to work that into the waterline. Fill in those gaps in between the eyelashes also. Taking a flat brush, I'm going to dip into this color here. The shimmer color, it's got a different kind of texture. You want to be careful with it because it does kind of slip around. I kind of I notice that when you kind of bump around the palette a little bit, this will it will come out. You can kind of see that if you dig in there a little, it, it's gonna flake off. Like there's it's gonna flake off might want to pick that up with a setting spray like a fix plus or something I just went in with a dry brush and you're going to place this in the inner corner here I'm kind of going in and dragging it a little so that you can get better color payoff I like using this method of putting some shimmer in the inner eye instead of maybe all over the eye, especially if we're a little bit conscious about crepiness or the shimmer picking up more fine lines. So this way you add a little shimmer and shine to get more of a glamorous look and you don't have to worry about accentuating anything there that you don't want to be seen. I'm going to go under the eye here also. So we are almost done and complete. We're going to put in a little bit of a liner in there. Now, I don't know about you, but it's taken me a minute to get used to these liquid liners. I have a younger sister that she puts it on like she's been putting on her little fly liner ever since she came out of the womb. She's that good at it. She probably can do it in her sleep. So I grew up using the good old pencil and you can get a nice smoky line you can get even a little, you know, cat eye with it. It doesn't still have that crispness that the liquid liners have. So I've been working on it and working on it. And I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It's new. It's different. I still do prefer the pencil. I'm not a super, you know, glam all the time kind of person. But, you know, for those occasions that you want to be a little bit more, mm, mm. Try it out, try it out. So I'm going in with W7 Liquid Eyeliner. I have no idea what this brand is. I picked it up at TJ Maxx and it's been very easy for me to work with. I think it was like under two bucks. So the way I like to start, I like to start in the middle and then depending on how I feel, I either go forward or I go and do the wing. I almost forgot <laughs> with that same brush that we used to do the inner corner take a little of that white shimmer color that's in the palette and go ahead and pop that up underneath your brow at this point you would put on some mascara and pop on a, you know your favorite pair of them false eyelashes Today we're going to just do mascara. I'm still having trouble finding an eyelash glue that doesn't irritate my sensitive eyes. Now I say sensitive and I got all this hoopla on. But for some reason some of the glues, the resin in there just will irritate my eyes. So if you guys have any suggestions, like let me know because I would love to find something so that I can also put on some of the flutters. Right now the mascara that I'm really into because I have some of the weakest looking eyelashes. 
which makes no sense to me. I have curly hair, I have full curly hair, but my eyelashes are so straight and so sparse. I actually perm my eyelashes. But the mascara that I have been just really digging is this one from Maybelline, the Snap Mascara. It actually makes my little sparse eyelashes look like there's something there. And that's a big job. So now you can finish this look with a nude lip, but I thought, if we're gonna do glam, let's go glamorous and let's do this glam style and let's do some red lipstick. I wanna thank you today for joining me. Please hit subscribe and please hit that like button. Until next time, much love.